This is the weather forecast video for February 17th, 2011. Let's first take a look at the National Watch Warning Map. You can see Iowa is clear, but most of the state is under a dense fog advisory through at least the morning hours or the early afternoon hours. Here's the QPF chart for the next five days ending at 6 p.m. Monday shows at least a half an inch of liquid precipitation over Iowa with at least three quarters to an inch in the southern part of the state and some of that may not be in the form of rain. Here's the 500 millibar chart at noon today. It shows a short wave over the just northwest of the state down at the surface, a low pressure over southeast North Dakota with a trailing front, few showers along it, but cooler weather will be the norm. Saturday at noon you'll see a trough over the west slight ridge over the central and eastern states and down below that warmer weather as the so a southerly flow will return temperatures will probably be in the 40s statewide Sunday morning at midnight you can see a trough over the southwest beginning to move in this direction down below at the surface some precipitation will be breaking out across the strait but as you can see just to the north of the state a big huge high with colder weather let's take a look at it at the 850 millibar chart the light the blue line that goes across the northern part of the state that is the 32 degree line or zero celsius north of that is usually will be about where the snow will be to the south rain as you can see now at 6 a.m. Sunday morning you can see that line is now about from a Dubuque to Omaha line north of that moderate to heavy snow possibly south of that rain six hours later that line continues slowly moving south as the high pressure moves in from the north so most of the precipitation will be switching over to a uh, light to moderate snow snowfall accumulations are likely and as the storm continues to move to the east and the blue line moves out of the state will be in the colder air so this will all be in the form of snow it could be moderate at times Sunday night into early Monday morning and as you can see here this is Monday morning at 6 a.m. the lights it, there's a light snow of maybe a few flurries but most of the heavy accumulating snow will be out of the state by Tuesday at noon that storm is well long gone but there's another trough out to the west and down below that you can see that big upper level low over southern California but here southerly winds will return and by Wednesday evening the 23rd you'll see a shortwave trough over just to the southwest of the state and down below that are low pressure over southwest Kansas southerly flow will be on the warm sector again and Saturday evening the 26th you can see a trough in a northwest flow over the state down below that high pressure over about Tulsa will be fairly cold that day according to this run and here's Thursday morning March 3rd southwesterly flow you know what that means that means trouble and this could be trouble here a low over about Gage Oklahoma could be snow and here at the end of the forecast period on March 5th looks fairly zonal down below that you can see it could be pretty active at the end of the forecast thank you for tuning in to the forecast video we may have another one tomorrow